सैन बट्स गानो शिंजलिमिंद फुर्गी है एक्सेलेंसीज डिस्टिंग्विश डेलीगेट्स फ्रॉम मीडिया एंड सिविल सोसाइटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन मंगोलिया डेवलपमेंट पार्टनर्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफर माई सिंसियर कंग्रेचुलेशंस टू द पीपल ऑफ मंगोलिया on this remarkable occasion of the 30th anniversary of the adoption of the new constitution of mongolia this is a special day to commemorate 30 years of mongolia's unwavering commitment to democracy human rights and freedom mongolia has long been heralded as a beacon of vibrant and stable democracy in the region the united nations and mongolia commends mongolia's efforts in strengthening its democratic governance and adhering to the rule of law this includes free media and freedom of expressions and speech that mongolians enjoy at large guaranteed by the constitution of mongolia in 1992 most certainly free and independent media is a cornerstone of democratic societies therefore to safeguard democracy we need independent and free media as a watchdog of the society to render the government more accountable for their people article 19 of the universal declaration of human rights states that everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression this right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers mongolia is legally bound to protect the freedom of expression in accordance with international laws and standards article 16 of the constitution of mongolia guarantees that freedom of thought opinion expression speech press and peaceful assembly in this regard i would like to reiterate the recommendations by the un human rights council that encourages mongolia to take necessary measures to respect freedom of expression and access to information and protect civil space in accordance with international standards this will include ensuring that journalists media workers and civil society activists are able to practice their activities freely without any fear of undue harassment punishment or investigating threats against journalists and media workers and bringing perpetrators to justice i would urge the mongolian authorities to further commit to do everything in their power to support free independent and diverse media and civic space representatives of mongolian media and civil society organizations have expressed their concerns over the lack of laws and policies important for guaranteeing media freedom and expressions of diverse views free from censorship in the recent accounts we have also been informed on concerns over shrinking of civic space including peaceful assembly and civic protests due to restrictive measures related to the curb of covid-19 pandemic therefore i warmly welcome today's joint initiative both by the parliament of mongolia and the press institute in a constructive platform to openly discuss and seek solutions to the current challenges in independent and free media especially at the age of digitization where we face yet another challenge of misinformation and disinformation or fake news coined as infodemic before i conclude i would like to commend the leadership of the parliament of mongolia for creating an enabling and favorable legislative environment where mongolian media and civil society enjoy greater freedom and open public debate and discourse to bring fair and better environment for all 
on goal levels. I also sincerely thank the Press Institute's initiative and strong leadership in building a capacity of media and civil society that significantly contributes to strengthening democratic governance in Mongolia. Finally, I reiterate here the United Nations and Mongolia's firm commitment for support for strong democracy in Mongolia. I wish you all a very successful forum. Bye, Sansak Nihasin.